narrator, journalist and Brazilian television scriptwriter, born in Rio de Janeiro in 1947. Versatile humanist, has ventured successfully into worlds as diverse as the music, press, theater, or television, although its name has been permanently enshrined in the field of contemporary fiction, genre that enriched with one of the most important short novels from the last quarter of the 20th century, The Alchemist. Son of a wealthy family, received a careful elementary and secondary education run by the Jesuits, or went on to pursue higher studies in law. But, encouraged from an early age by a marked literary vocation, he she abandoned these studies to be carried away by his passion for writing and engage in any activity that would allow you to be in direct contact with literary creation. Thus the things, for some time taught as professor of theater, which was alternating with his first compositions of letters to groups of samba and bossa nova music. These letters of Paulo Coelho clearly shows an influx of various spiritual currents in close relationship with the postulates of the hippie movement of the 1960s. Years later, from 1974 until 1981, his hobbies and musical knowledge led him to accept a post of executive at Polygram Music House. Previously, Paulo Coelho had also exercised journalism, dedication, culminating in a stage in front of the direction of the Express Underground newspaper. While these varied activities, Coelho was not abandoning its efforts to become a devoted writer. Finally, the decisive push came in 1981, when he she traveled to Holland with his wife to engage in direct contact with a mysterious character, Jean, which thereafter became his master and began to influence over the Brazilian writer similar to which leaves in his acolytes a spiritual guide. Jean introduced Paulo Coelho in the Brotherhood Ram, Regnum Agnum Mundi, a kind of religious order of Catholic confession, which sinks its origins in medieval Spain. Since then, Coelho, who was named Knight of the Order, began to lavish his visits to Spain, that fruit gave his first outstanding contribution to universal narrative. It is the Diary of Amagus, work which recounts the adventures of his own pilgrimage to Santiago, in search of a sword that represents the ultimate power in his mystery guild. Shortly thereafter, Coelho returned to the shelves of the libraries with a brief narration entitled L'Alchemista, Alchemist, 1988, which had a shepherd who, following the dictates of their dreams, part of Andalusia to delve into the solitude of the desert. Written in just 15 days, L'Alchemista became immediately in one of the greatest successes of contemporary literature written in the Portuguese language. It was translated into many languages, currently, there are over 25 versions in many languages, and for many weeks broke all records remain in the lists of best-selling books from Brazil, France, Italy and Israel. In Spain, the work aroused so much interest that, 10 years have appeared, it had already reached almost 50 reissues, and worldwide about 10 million copies have been sold, the decade ranging from 1988 to 1998. Literary Criticism Universal, admired not only by the quality of L'Alchemista, but for the surprising fact that Coelho had become suddenly the American writer than most books sold worldwide, after Gabriel Garcia Marquez, did not spare his praise when it comes to place this piece in one of the other Mastiar Paises of the genre, as The Little Prince by Saint Exupery Antony or Juan Salvador Gaviota by Richard Bach. Indeed, such was the impact of L'Alchemista, which in 1994 was considered as the book of the year by the Library Association of United States, and in May 1996 was a finalist for the prestigious prize Ennio Fliano Narrative. A few days later, the June 2, 1996, the author was awarded the prize Crinzane Cavour, one of the most important international awards of our time. In addition, in April of that same year Paulo Coelho, had been recognized in Paris with the insignia of Knight of Arts and Letters in French. In addition to L'Alchemista, Brazilian writer is also the author of other works that have deserved the unanimous recognition of the universal criticism. Among them, it is obligated to highlight Flange and, above all, on the banks of the River of Stone Sat, where mixed the ingredients of love novel and travel literature to rebuild a beautiful adventure of initiation in the incomparable setting of the Monasterio de Piedra. In 1996, this work of Coelho, known in his native country as the Mago das Letras, has moved to Jorge Amado of the first place among the best-selling Brazilian authors, became the most purchased copy in the 13th Biennial International of the Book of Sao Paulo. However, did not stop here the success of Paulo Coelho, since a new story of great interest, titled The Supreme Gift of Henry Drummond, 
he she added in 1996 a beautiful recreation based on a passage from the Old Testament, appeared under the title of Omonti Cinco. The reception of this new work of Quelo was so spectacular in all the world, which sold out its first edition, consisting of 100,000 copies in just two weeks. On February 14, 2000 presented Veronica Decides to Die, a novel about the madness, that nothing else out in Brazil sold 1.5 million copies. Two years later, on July 25, 2002, he she entered the Brazilian Academy of Letters, ABL. The author and academic karaoke chose Spring 2003 to launch 11 Minutes to Libraries, the most erotic novel of its acclaimed creative catalog. Two years later he she published The Zahir, the story of a writer who runs a long journey to discover the cause of the disappearance of his wife, once this leave her wealthy life to become a chronicler of war. Among other honors, Paulo Coelho was appointed in France Knight of Arts and Letters, 1996, and Knight of the Order National of the Legion of Honor, 2000, in the same country, and received the Fliano International Prize, 1996, and the prize literary super Grinzane Cavour, 1996. In addition, is special advisor to UNESCO for spiritual convert, gents, and intercultural dialogue program. Paulo Coelho discusses the 25th anniversary edition of The Alchemist. What originally inspired you to write The Alchemist? Coelho, my dream was to be a writer. I wrote my first book in 1987, The Pilgrimage, after completing my own personal pilgrimage from France to Santiago de Compostela, Spain. After that I thought, why did it take me so long to fulfill my dream? So I decided to write a metaphor, and this metaphor is The Alchemist, a novel about someone who needs to fulfill his or her dream, but takes too long because he or she thinks it's impossible. The Alchemist has sold over 150 million copies worldwide, won 115 international prizes and awards, has been translated into 80 languages, and is still on the New York Times bestseller list today, 25 years after its initial publication. What impact has this success had on your life? Quelo, of course The Alchemist opened a lot of doors for me. At the moment I'm answering this question, the novel is still on the New York Times bestseller list. But success did not happen overnight, so I had time to get used to it. The book was not something that exploded all of a sudden. I believe success can be a blessing, and it can also be a curse. I was older when the recognition came, so I had another level of maturity to face the change. When it happened, I remember thinking, my god, this is a blessing. So above all, I had to respect it. And the way to respect it is to really understand that a blessing has no explanation, but needs to be treasured and honored. Do you closely relate to any of the characters in The Alchemist? If so, how? Quelo, in The Alchemist, I relate myself to the Englishman, someone who is trying to understand life through books. It's quite interesting how many times we use books to understand life. I think that a book is a catalyst, it provokes a reaction. I am a compulsive reader. I read a lot, but from time to time, there are books that changed my life. Well, it's not that the book itself changed my life, it's that I was already ready to change and needed to not feel alone. The same thing happens with The Englishman and The Alchemist. What have you discovered about your own personal destiny in the past 25 years since writing The Alchemist? Quelo, what I learned after writing The Alchemist, after the worldwide success, is basically that I had a dream, a personal legend to fulfill. To be a writer is to write. To write means new books. New books mean new challenges. Of course, I could have stopped with The Alchemist a long time ago if I was only in it for money, but I really love what I do. I can't see myself not writing. It's not always an easy task, sometimes it's very challenging, but this is what I do and this is what I like. So the journey itself is the miracle, it is the blessing. There is no point to reach. You have to travel your journey with joy, hope, and challenges in your heart. Is there anything you would like to say to your readers and fans? Quelo, to my readers and my fans, basically my companions, I would say that spirituality is being brave, is taking risks, is daring to do something when people are always telling you not to. My parents, for example, did not want me to be a writer, and that's why it took so long for me to fulfill my dream. But here I am, thanks to that moment after my pilgrimage from France to Spain, when I said to myself, 
I can't live with a dream that I did not even try to fulfill. Do the same thing, 